1984, a series of programs by the qualifying political parties in network time period made available free by the CBC. Now a program by the Progressive Conservative Party. And I believe, Brian, I believe he can do it. Uh, there's that sense of warmth when he speaks, the sense of sincerity that he will and can do it, and I firmly think he will. I feel Brian's record in business shows that he really is concerned about the ordinary person, not just the people in the ivory towers or whatever. Um, I believe he's worked with labor and has, has a feel for the fellow that has to work hard for a living. Rooney for myself, uh, he just seems to be a good person. He's out for the family. I like his whole family attitude. Uh, his family seems to be really tight itself. And uh, in whole, he's a good family man, which we need here because uh, Canada is basically all family. There's a lot of young people trying to, to make it, so I figure that Mulroney can understand this. Mr. Mulroney is a family man, understands family problems, and uh, is oriented to the type of person that lives in Canada today. I think he's a very positive person, and we need to be positive now. And I, I just have a lot of faith in Brian that he's going to uh, put Canada back where it should be. When I was young in Bay Como, there were two qualities more than any others that I always associated with Canada. One was opportunity, and the other was civility. If you wanted to work, you could always get a job. And there was a sense of tolerance among citizens in Canada. And after the last 15 years, these two fundamental qualities have been almost all but lost. But I think that they're still very much alive in Canada. They have to be recaptured. And I think they can with a new agenda, with new hope and new opportunity. It's often been said that young men have visions and old men dream dreams. Well, we're entitled to these dreams and to these hopes for our children. Canada can guarantee these dreams properly managed and properly led. Brian Maroney um, is a very actively involved person, a bright man. He knows what the issues are. He knows the country cannot continue on the way it has been. Well, I think Brian Mulroney is just the sort of able young man who can bring the change that we need to Canada. I think Brian Mulroney is what this country needs. I think he's an honest person, he's a man for all people. Brian Mulroney is a man who has had responsibility. He's been an executive officer. He's dealt with the realities of the economy. He's worked with people. Uh, he has a vision for this country, and I see he's capturing that vision. People are, are following the man because they sense that he is a leader. And what has happened under the Liberal government is that productivity and effort and sacrifice made by farmers and fishermen and small businessmen and ordinary workers, that they have been penalizing that extra effort. They've been telling people that it no longer pays in this country to make commitment and to make sacrifice. They've been penalizing productivity and sacrifice. And I tell you that we're going to bring in a government that is going to reward commitment and sacrifice and hard work again. And I think that if we remember the fundamentals, if we respect the traditions of the small towns and the big hearts that made this country what it is today, I tell you that we're going out with your blessing your encouragement and your good counsel. And we're going to recreate that grand alliance of West and East, English and French, North and South, new Canadians and old, farm producers and city dwellers. We're going to put together that grand alliance of Canadians who believe in Canada, who understand the magnificence of the country and what made it great. We're going to recapture the Canadian dream together and we're going to bring about a brand new wave of prosperity that will do honor to all of you and do honor to Canada. Thank you for having us.